Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the AstroTech AT72ED telescope, uh, but I'm going to be reviewing it for use as a telephoto camera lens. Uh, quality telephoto camera lens can be extremely expensive and with just a couple of adapters you can attach a telescope like this one to a camera and it functions as a telephoto camera lens and you can get some really good quality out of it. Now first of all uh, what you'll need to attach a telescope like this to your camera is just a couple things. Uh, you're going to need what they call a camera adapter. And this is just an adapter that will slide into the focuser of the telescope where you would normally put a, a diagonal or an eyepiece for use as a telescope. Uh, so this would just slide in place of that. And then you just need a T-ring or a T-adapter that will then just thread onto the back of this camera adapter and you just get get the T-ring that is works for your camera. This one is a Nikon F-mount and they make them for various cameras. And then you just get that one to work with your camera and then you can just slip this in the back of the telescope, connect it to your camera and you're ready to go to use this as a telephoto camera lens. Now the AT72ED telescope does offer a lot of features that make it really nice for use as a camera lens. Um, it is a 430 millimeter focal length and it functions as a fixed F6 uh, aperture when it's connected to a camera. So this is going to be a fixed f6 aperture. Not super fast lens, but not too bad for 430 millimeter focal length. The focuser on the back of the telescope has knobs on either side, uh, two large knobs which do your, your fast or coarse focus, and then it does have one small knob which is used for slow or very very fine focus. And I find that's a really good feature for really just dialing in that perfect precise focus. So as you can see the large knob moves the focus in, focuser in and out and then the small knob it just moves the focuser very slow and you can see when I turn the other knob it moves it spins real quick because it's a it's a gear reduction inside there. <clears throat> the focuser does rotate if you loosen this lock screw on the top you can actually ro rotate this you'll see I'm not rotating the telescope you can rotate this to be any angle you want, so if it's more convenient for you to have the focus knob straight up and down uh, on the bottom or on the top, you can have it mounted however you want. And once you get it positioned where you want, you just lock it in place with that screw and you're ready to go. It also does have a focus lock screw, so that once you get that focus dialed in right where you want, if you're shooting at a stationary subject or a subject that may be moving a little but is staying pretty much the same distance from you, once you get that perfect focus, you don't want to bump it, you don't want it to move, you can just tighten this screw and that will actually lock the focus in place. Now even if I turn this knob, I don't know if you can tell, but that's actually not go moving. So once, once this is locked, I'm not going to bump this or move it out of place, so the focus is locked. That's a pretty handy feature there also. It does have a built-in tripod mount. Uh, this, this little shoe here is used for connecting to different telescope mounts, but it is threaded quarter 20 in a couple different places. And I just have a standard quick release plate for a camera tripod on here. So very convenient features there. It does come with a lens cap for both sides. This is just kind of a slip fit metal, uh, but it does have a, a felt lining in here so that it, so that it, it fits snug and doesn't, doesn't mar the finish on the back. You have a plastic, just a plastic cap that goes into this adapter. Now when you're using this as a telescope, you can use two inch eyepieces or accessories, or you can use one and a quarter. So it comes with this two inch to one and a quarter adapter, and then it just comes for a cap with a cap for that. So to put the camera adapter in, you just pull this adapter out, slide your camera adapter in, and lock it in place, and you're ready to go. It also has a sliding uh, lens shade here, which it can be also be a dew shield when you're using it as a telescope because lenses have a tendency to collect dew as the as the night wears on. But you just you simply pull it out, just slides right out, and it provides a nice uh, nice shade for the for the lens. So that's real handy, just built right in there, and it does have a stop, so it's not going to come all the way off. You know, if you just you pull it out, it hits that stop, and you can just slide it right back in. This is. A very well built telescope. Uh, the build quality and the fit and finish is, is excellent. Um, all the controls operate very smooth, very fluid. 
everything seems very tight and very very solid on this telescope uh, one downside to that build quality however is weight uh, i think the the spec is five pounds and I, I i believe that's probably pretty accurate this is a pretty heavy telescope so just bear that in mind once you put a camera on the back of this you know you're you're talking five pounds plus whatever the weight of your digital slr is so that's going to be on the top of your tripod so just something to keep in mind if you have a very very lightweight tripod um, you know you might get a little bit of wiggle a little bit of flex with this on there just because it is a pretty heavy setup um, and you know it's a very high quality it's it's well built but it is a little heavy um, so something to keep in mind you know most most lenses are going to be far far lighter than this so it's a little bit of a heavy option now one of the reasons this is going to be a far less expensive option than some other telephoto lenses is the fact that it is a fully manual lens I showed you the focus knobs here and that's going to be your only means of focus this is not going to be autofocus on any camera it does not have any electronics or any kind of PC communication features in it it's not a PC lens it's not going to have any kind of communication or connection with your camera at all so most cameras are going to be shooting in manual mode only you'll have your focus rangefinder in the IP or in the viewfinder so that you can you know you'll still get that focus indication that you would with any lens if you're manually focusing it but you may not get metering feedback depending on the camera my d90 gets no metering feedback i have to shoot that 100 percent manual my d7000 does give metering feedback so uh, you know i i don't have full auto modes but um, there's a couple modes that'll function somewhat and even if i'm in full manual mode i'll get the uh, the metering feedback in the viewfinder to tell me um, you know brighter brighter dim exposure levels so that i can adjust accordingly but with most most cameras it's going to be full manual um, you know you're going to put it on the camera take test pictures operate in full manual so that's going to be something you're going to want to be comfortable doing is shooting in manual mode or be willing to learn to use this lens or to use this telescope as a lens now the fact that it's a manual only lens and a bit heavy uh, those drawbacks aside you do get excellent image quality out of this now i recently did a review of a bauer 500 millimeter telephoto lens which was a very low cost a telephoto lens option less expensive than this but i do feel like there's a lot of sacrifices to image quality made for the price with that lens with this lens i don't actually feel like you are sacrificing image quality at all versus some of the more expensive lenses um, other than the fact that it is a fixed f6 aperture which like i said isn't isn't terribly slow but it's not super fast either uh, other than that drawback 430 millimeters extremely sharp images um, images just just snap to focus very easy to use uh, it, for being a manual focus lens I find that you know it's it's razor sharp and it's really easy to, to pick out that perfect focus point just because it is so sharp uh, I see no false color or any kind of chromatic aberration color fringing you know purple fringes around the edge of you know high contrast areas I don't see any kind of false color or color fringing with this lens uh, I don't see any any distortion of note there may be a little but I don't shoot a lot of perfectly straight lines to find out but just in just in normal shooting I haven't noticed any kind of distortion so performance wise excellent um, I'll show a couple of images that I've taken with this lens um, I'll show a, a crop also a close crop of the eye of the eagle so that you can you can really just get a good idea of the, the just the sharpness and detail that this lens is pulling out very very high quality images with this lens now the cost of this lens uh, I got it for $380. Uh, I think it's gone up a little bit. I believe it's around $400 now. And the adapters are not going to come with it, so you are going to need a camera adapter and then a T-ring for your particular model camera. And that's going to add um, $20 to $50 in cost, depending on where you get the two pieces. So, you know, just depending on what, what you can find everything for, somewhere between $400 to $450. Ready to go, ready to just attach to your camera and start shooting. So I think the value for the money is actually pretty good uh, just because of the extreme high quality images you can get out of this and at 430 millimeters uh, that's a lot of focal length for the money for a very high quality lens. And in, in terms of value even just as a lens I think it's okay but also keep in mind it may or may not be useful to you but this does work great as a spotting scope too. Uh, you can put a diagonal and an eyepiece in here and it makes a great little spotting scope as well obviously as a pretty nice little telescope 
Um, I actually bought it partly for use as a telescope and partly for use as a lens. Uh, I've used it for both and I've been very pleased with it in both uses. So uh, just keep that in mind as far as value goes. You know, it, most lenses don't give you the option to just use them as anything other than a lens. So that's the AT72ED telescope when used as a camera lens. Makes a great camera lens in my opinion. I think it takes excellent images. I've been very pleased with the image quality. I think the value is pretty good for what you get. Um, if you have any questions, please post them up down below. Um, I'll be happy to answer anything I can. Now as far as alternatives to this, um, there's plenty of telescopes out there that you can use as a camera lens with this, just these same two adapters. I mean, this isn't going to be the only option you have out there, but it's just the one that I went with and that I think works very well. You know, they obviously come in many different brands, price levels, sizes. Uh, you can get longer focal lengths also. Um, but this one, I think, as far as, you know, the size, weight, focal length, price balance, I think it all adds up to a pretty good package. Um, you know, some of the longer focal lengths, you're either going to sacrifice cost, usability, um, maybe image quality, but I think this one does does very great for the money and for what it is is an f6 430 millimeter uh, hopefully you learned something here as always thank you for watching and take care